do you like to live on the minimal side? Are you the type of person that only has one plate, one cup, one knife? Huh? Maybe. Huh? Do you like the minimal life? Maybe you only have one chair in your home. Maybe you really want your PC to be so light as well. Well, I got a Linux gesture just for you. What? OS. Huh? Yes, what? W-A-T-T. -T. OS. Even has the whole oh, electric symbol thing going for it. So, a very lame jokes and openings aside, what is what OS? Well, it's uh, another Linux distribution that is based on Debian Linux. That's right. It's essentially Debian Linux with a light and minimal interface on top of it. And guess what we're going to take a look at today? Exactly that. So, I've already pre-booted this thing up, as you can see here. Really plain, really simple. And we're first going to get it installed. So we're going to go install WatOS. Calamaris. I'm just going to walk through this. Uh, it's going to use ext4. Gosh. WatOS. A strong password. And let it install. Okay, let's just start now. We, of course, have our WatOS, our Debian Bookworm 12 LXDE desktop environment. And let us first fix the resolution. Okay, and that's the resolution fixed. And here we have this pure clean install. So out of the box, mouse pad, screenshot Vim. Write an X archive, graphics, just a document view and GTHM, internet, Firefox, ESR, good choice. Uh, ESR, Firefox, of course, uh, doesn't get updated every couple of days. It has more extended releases. Uh, system tools, HTOP, GW package installer, and task manager. So as you can see, very low CPU usage. It's not doing anything, literally. And of course, our memory usage is pretty quite low. So this is really great for those low end machines that one has. And under preferences, just the normal type of configuration stuff like Snaptic package manager, etc. So the whole idea of what OS is that you build the OS up as you go along. So you go ahead and install your, your own type of software. Yeah, so as you can see, really, as I showed you earlier, actually, the file manager, PC Man FM, and out of the box, really, really simple, and really not too much stuff really to show, in all honesty. Um, no fancy package managers here. Here, if you're going to use package manager, you're going to end up using uh, Synaptic. Nothing wrong with that. And using 09.1.3. And I just want to take a look. Preferences. Okay, set for updates and marking changes. Distribution. Prefers a higher version. That's fine. And the repos, of course. Normal Debian repos. It includes, of course, non-free firmware as well. Uh, some Debian backports. And that's basically it. So it's really Debian with a couple of uh, software changes. Do a normal search here. So let's say you want near fetch, which I think is already installed. Yeah. So let's take a look. Near fetch. And of course, we don't have any flat pack. A support here we could add it if we wanted but in this case we're just sticking with debian and about 40 packages that can be upgraded so let's say we want to install a piece of software sudo apt dlc ah sudo apt install vrc ah of course we can't because i have snaptic open here so let's close that and i can get it to lock 
And yes. So here, of course, if you're going to get software, you're going to do it either through this CLI or you can use Synaptic Package Manager. Let's close that. And as you'll see here, here's VLC pre-installed. Uh, looking around at desktop preferences, uh, different wallpapers. I don't really go ahead and really look at wallpapers. Uh, I know some reviewers do and each their own. I generally just uh, don't do that, but a couple of interesting ones they have here. Uh, especially the wallpaper. Once I say wallpaper, desktop icons, what you hide, what you show. Uh, by default. And the rest of it, you know, you can basically just traditional uh, how you want to customize this look and feel. So let's say you want to go for the whole Redmond look. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so you could just pick Redmond here. Uh, color scheme is fine. Icon theme. You would have to go ahead and install another one. All right, so you download it and pre-install it. Uh, in this case. Let's choose that just to... Why not? Mouse cursor. I don't have one theme. Again, with this uh, system, you have to download them and add them on yourself afterwards. Um, like... Even just here, yeah, you would you would do it yourself. So let's say I was to choose clear looks, you can apply it. Font icon, and for some reason, I'm announced to myself. Just want to log out and log back in. I have uh, shown you how to turn this interface into something that uh, looks similar to the old Windows days. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jokes aside though, folks, who would use this distro? Well, if you need a rock-solid base such as Debian and you want to have it semi-working out of the box, but you want it to be as minimal as possible, especially for older hardware, you're not going to go wrong with WatchOS. Update it frequently. Really gets great stable distribution. Not much to talk about, which is something that you want at times. And this is it. So, folks, leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.